Hello world and welcome to the vlog. My name is Artemis and this is a space... Well, usually this space is a little different, but today we've got the Lost Drone episode. Okay, here's the story. Somewhere in the crown of this here very tall tree lies a drone waiting to be rescued. How did it get there? Well, it was partly my recklessness and not, not paying attention to the warning signs and the controller beeping, going haywire. It took me forever to get it to calibrate and then once it did, it was, it was beeping so, so long that it actually drained all the battery in the controller. So, um, I shouldn't have taken off basically because once I took off the controller died and the drone went up and decided to go back to its its home point which was right underneath that that tree so now the dilemma uh, I've been here for about an hour trying to figure out how to get it down my tree climbing skills have not been used in about 30 years so I did not know about climbing that limbless tree trunk. The lowest hanging limbs are about 5 meters up, like 15 feet. I'm in the middle of nowhere too. And I'm on top of this mountain. I've tried shaking the tree. Good luck with that. I've tried throwing rocks. I've tried waiting for, for the wind to shake it down. It's in there. It's stuck pretty good. I don't really have an answer. <laughs> I've, I've called a couple of friends and everybody's busy. I thought maybe somebody would bring me a, a rope or something. As much as it pains me, I have to leave here now so that I can go and figure this out. and Maybe come back today or tomorrow to try to retrieve it. So wish me luck. All right, drone recovery attempt number Whatever it is, yesterday I spent a long while trying to get it out of that tree. I didn't have any tools on hand on top of that mountain, so today I got a little bit of help. I have a couple of concerns about this recovery mission. I know where the tree is, that's not a problem, but I don't know where the drone is. There are clusters of pine cones that look like it might be the drone, so I have to poke around in the tree. I, it looks like about 30, over 30 feet high, so the trick is, if I find it, if it still hasn't fallen out of there, I mean, I looked around the tree, it's not there, but people come and go, so if it's fallen out, um, somebody might have picked it up, so I'm not sure if it's even up there, but if it is, and I find it, and I poke at it, and it starts falling, I have to maneuver quickly to Try to catch it in midair. Yesterday, 31 seconds flight <laughs> before it got caught. Okay, this is what I'm working with. My idea is to basically make a very long pole and hopefully poke in the right place to have the drone fall out of the branches and into my loving hands. See it? I'm not sure how many of these I'll have to put together. I got three out of 15 right now. First I have to see if I have enough broomsticks to make it up there and then try to figure out how to make this contraption a little more sturdy. Six out of 15 broomsticks. And it's pretty hard to keep it steady. See what it's doing up there? It feels like a snake in my hands. It swivels and turns every which way. And it's only seven, I think, seven broomsticks or eight. I have my doubts about how well this is going to work. Why didn't I think of bringing water? It's really hot out. Um, anyway. <laughs> 
I just try to give it a little more body, put a little an extra broomstick in the middle of the the, the length of the shaft. Uh, it's kind of helping, but still, I'm running out of broomsticks. I didn't realize I broke a whole piece off. Found it laying over there. With only two more broomsticks left, I don't think I'll be able to reach the height of that crown. Okay, you see what it's doing now right there? I better move this camera out of the way before that. I'm risking breaking that in half right now. It's bending like crazy. Before that falls on top of the camera and breaks something. A small scar to remember this day by. It seems like the only way that I can maneuver it is leading it by the tree trunk, which really doesn't give me much. It doesn't let me move around. My other idea is to get a big rope and just shake the thing real hard. String it up there by the branch and just give it a couple of tugs to see if it, anything falls out. I think it'll be harder to catch the drone mid-air if it falls because there's going to be a lot of things falling from the tree. <laughs> I guess I failed at this attempt. I am back. I made my ascent up this mountain one more time, brought some extra help. Hopefully today at least I get to the top of this of this tree and see if there's anything still up there. There's also a lot of wind here today, so I'm not sure if this audio will be usable. So I'll just try to talk less. I have yet to find the contraption I put together yesterday with all the broomsticks. <laughs> I'll go look again. Um, I got another idea. Let me see if that one works first and then I'll try to find the one from yesterday. Okay, the idea is to sling this rock with this rope up that big limb up there and to give it a good shake. See if it works. That rock might be too big. <laughs> Try this one. This is a lot harder than it looks. I got Goliath over here and I'm no David. It took me a little while but I found my friend. Time to make some adjustments to this thing and see if I can reach the top of that tree. It's actually a lot shorter than I expected. I only got about 11 meters. Plus I got another four meters in that painter's pole. Let me see if I can now finally reach the top of that tree. I am on top of this picnic table, trying to snake this thing back up to the top. You see that? I was trying to use this obnoxiously difficult snake mechanism to go up that tree. And now I have three obnoxiously difficult contraptions laying on the ground. Forgot to turn the camera, but for a second there, it looked like I was going to have the first moment of success. That is until the rock came back down at me and I had to like karate chop it out of the way. Okay, let me try it again. Okay, I guess I could say that's a mild success. I was able to hoist that rock up on the first limb that I could reach. It swung like a pendulum down and I went around the tree trunk a few times to get some traction. Now I shall attempt to shake this tree up to see if I can even pinpoint the location of the lost drone. I'm, I'm not sure, it's now been over two days. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still up there. Could have fallen out of the tree. There might have been people here. Imagine that scene. Somebody's here, sitting at this picnic table with their family, and there's a drone falling out of the sky right onto their heads. Running out of ideas here. I wonder how long of a vlog this can be. <laughs> Minute 17. 
attempt number 500. Problem is, I'm leaving for the next three weeks. I'll be out of town, out of the country, traveling. I kind of want my drone. And I kind of don't want it in the tree, even if I didn't take it with me. You know what I mean? Time's uh, ticking. It's been a while. I've, I've been attempting something else. There's a tree next to the one in question, next to the kidnapper tree. The drone kidnapper tree. So the smaller tree, I thought maybe it'd be easier to shake because it's got limbs that kind of are close to the limbs of, of, of the kidnapper. So I figured I'd pull that one and try to hit my tree. It hasn't worked out that well. I did manage to go a little higher on the smaller tree. Still very hard to, to shake. Have you ever seen that movie The Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger back in the 80s? <laughs> There's a scene there where he like makes this trap for the alien. He pulls down some trees and like ties them down. I kind of feel like that. I'm not getting anywhere close to what he did, but he made it look easy. This drone recovery mission has got me winded. It looks like I might have failed this time around as well. This might be part one of a multi-part series trying to get that drone out of the tree. I can't help it being so close yet so far, <laughs> you see? There's one thing I learned about possessions, material possessions, about things that we buy, things we want to buy. We have this love of things and that's inherently not right. We shouldn't love things. You really have to change your attitude toward things. Jesus says that the things that we treasure, that is where our heart is. So if you love things, if you treasure things, if you hold on to things, then you're setting yourself up for a lot of heartache, a lot of heartbreak, because every drone stuck in a tree is going to be a stressful night. I'm not saying that I don't care about my thousand dollar device that has been hanging out with the pine cones there for the last 50 something hours. I'm saying I have to find a way to be at peace in this situation and not worry about it being up there or being in my bag. In any case, life goes on and this is by far not the most important thing on my plate right now. Well, at least I got all these broomsticks now. They're kind of sticky from the tape. And they've been rolling around in the, in the dirt. Or I guess they've been rolling around in Holy Land. So they might be worth something. <laughs> I'm kidding. But in all seriousness, I know this is crazy, but if you want to have yourself a souvenir from this little, this little crazy adventure of mine, and if you want me to send you a piece or a whole one of these broomsticks, I shall make all the arrangements necessary to get this to you. Just so that you can remember that loving things over loving people and loving things over loving life will not get you anywhere. It's hot, it's been a long day, but I gotta tell you this. There's a great strength in setting up your priorities correctly. People risk every day. They risk their life, they risk their freedom, their family, their health, their sanity. People around them. Just to get somewhere, just to get one more thing. We need to reinvent, we need to readjust our understanding about life, about people, about love, about God see him for who he really is and see ourselves for what we really are and understand that we are far away from what we need to be doing and start loving people and then things will start changing in our life